Okay, this video is called guacamole as a spread, and we say as a spread because as a dip is a little bit different. We'll talk about the differences as we go, so you know how to make either. All right, so here's the team, three ripe avocados, and we'll talk about how to test for ripeness. One uh, whole lemon, the juice thereof, uh, one whole batch of fresh cilantro, fresh is important, a uh, couple of jalapenos that we'll pull the seeds and the membranes out of, uh, and only end up using one of these tomatoes and some salt and pepper, and that's it. All right, three ripe avocados. How do you test? You push on the side. If it gives a little, it's ripe. Uh, if it doesn't give it all, it's not ripe. Give it another day or two and test it again. Uh, and if it gives a lot, it's overripe, and you're not going to like the outcome, so don't do it. So you basically just run your knife all the way around down to the pit um, so that you can twist it apart. When you twist it apart, the pit's going to be stuck in one side. Uh, and great camera work by me. I don't show you how to get it out, but all you do is you pop the, the pit with your knife and twist, and it comes out on the knife, and then pinch it off from the back side. So now just grab a spoon and, uh, and scoop the flesh out into a bowl. Uh, this is the bowl we're going to be doing everything in. Um, if you see a little bit of the flesh in there that's kind of brown, uh, it's, it's not that it's bad, it just discolors near the stem sometimes. Just don't use that part. It's, it doesn't really taste, taste any different, um, it just doesn't look as good. So now time for the juice of a whole lemon. Uh, I use lemon instead of lime. A lot of recipes will call for lime, but I use lemon for two reasons. One, I like the flavor, but two, it keeps this greener longer. Uh, so after two days, if you used lime, uh, it'd be starting to brown, and with lemon, after a couple days, it still looks great. All right, time to mash. I'm using a plain old potato masher here. Go for the consistency that you like. Remember, I'm doing this one as a spread. It's going on uh, quesadillas. Uh, so I'm going for reasonably smooth here, something that I can easily spread around a quesadilla. All right, time for some seasoning. A few grinds of uh, black pepper. That's about a teaspoon. Uh, and then we're going to add a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of uh, kosher salt. Really depends on how salty you like your guac. Some people don't like any salt in it at all. And then it's time to start working on the cilantro. And we're going to go with this whole bunch of cilantro we got um, from the grocery store. Um, fresh is really, really important here. So we're going to dice this up really, really fine. And at this point, up to this point, everything we've done for a spread or a dip is the same. Uh, so really finely minced, fresh cilantro. Can't emphasize fresh enough here. Uh, and then it's time to start working on the uh, other additions. And this is where the recipe changes between a dip and a spread. All right, so time for peppers. I've chosen jalapenos for this. I'm also uh, inclined to use Anaheim sometimes. Cut the top off, uh, cut it down the middle, and then cut each one down the middle again so that you can get to the seeds and the membrane. And then it's really easy to just pull the seeds and membrane out. Um, and that gives you a, a, a nice heat level without being crazy. Uh, and then each one of those I cut into little matchsticks uh, and then those little tiny matchsticks I'm gonna uh, dice up really fine. So if this were a dip I wouldn't dice it as fine, alright? I would leave it chunkier. Time for the tomato. I use Roma tomatoes always when I'm uh, uh, going to be dicing pretty fine. I'm going to go with uh, about quarter inch or smaller pieces on this. Uh, and I chose to only use uh, one tomato because that looked like it was enough. So we get the tomato in and we're done with our additions. And so what you'll notice is missing is the red onion. You typically would put red onion in a uh, guacamole. Uh, but I choose to not do that when I'm doing a spread because the red onion might actually overpower uh, uh, what we're spreading it on. Uh, so we're basically done. We're just going to give this a nice stir uh, and then coat it with um, plastic wrap. And instead of uh, making it tight across the top of the bowl, we're actually going to push it down on top of the guacamole. 
Uh, and the reason for that is air is not guacamole's friend. So we're going to get uh, all the air out of this basically by pushing the plastic wrap right down on top of the spread. So out, off to the fridge we go. Um, if you keep the plastic wrap right down on top of the guacamole, this will keep for a couple day, couple three days in the fridge easy. Avocados are really easy to find in most grocery stores, so I invite you to try this. Again, the difference between a dip and a spread is for dips, I add the red onion and I leave the uh, additive ingredients a little chunkier. Uh, but otherwise, they're both quite delicious. This was amazing on the quesadillas.